Hello, beautiful people. I'm Michael Musi, and I have a pleasure to work with Miss Kim Navarro. Hi, Miss Kim. Welcome to my channel. Hello, Michael. Hello to all of your viewers. It's nice to meet all of you and be here. How are you today, Miss Kim? I'm fine. I'm good, and just like what I've said, I'm happy, and I'm so excited to have oh. a conversation with you. Oh, that's nice to hear, Miss Kim. But before that. Audiences, viewers, let me introduce some short background about Miss Kim Navarro. Kim Nav Miss Kim Navarro is a currently second-year college student at Pamantasan Lungsod ng Valenzuela, taking up Bachelor of Arts in Communication Studies, major in Theater Arts. So, Miss Kim, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. And yeah. <laughs> so, I heard that you're a K-pop fan. Tell me something more, or when can you call yourself a fan of a K-pop group? Um. Well, um. To be honest, I don't consider myself. Some people think that I'm a K-pop fan, but me, I don't consider myself as a K-pop fan since um the only K-pop group K-pop group that I watch is BTS, and I'm not. Um, watching or are not I'm not idolizing other K-pop group like I just like BTS. I don't consider myself as a K-pop fan since I only stand one group. Oh, okay, Miss Kim. So correct me if I'm wrong. BTS stands for Bangtan Son Yondan. Bangtan Son Yondan. Yes. That's nice. Thank you. Yeah. How long have you been an ARMY or a BTS fan? I started being a fan um, last year, 2020, since pandemic. It's been one year of being a fan of BTS. Or tell me, who are the member of BTS? But the member of BTS. BTS has a seven members, and they are um, Rap Monster, or RM, Jin, Suga, J-Hope, V, Jimin, and Jungkook. So, Miss Kim, to those BTS members, who is your bias when you first started stunning BTS? Oh. <laughs> My bias is Jungkook. Jungkook, um, which is the maknae and the main vocalist of the group. He's the center of the group. Tell me why Jungkook is your bias in BTS members. He's my bias because Jungkook is so talented. Um, um, we all know that he can sing and he can dance. But aside from that, he he can do a lot of things like he can draw, paint. Um, um, he's also good at sports. And also, what I like about him is. His character, because he's so kind, helpful, even um, with or without a camera, he's helping the other people. That's why I really admire him. But I love all of them because they're, they're all so good and they have different characters. We have the same bias in BTS. Yes, I, I also love, love Jungkook. <laughs> yes, I love Jungkook too. So... Tell me how and when you discover BTS. Um, I discovered BTS when I was in senior high school, I guess, because some of my classmates are mentioning their names. I I I became an army, this um what they, what they call baby army because I'm just new. Um, when um uh, in pandemic times, because um I watched their videos money videos not their uh, no, music videos uh, because i'm not interested at first on that because i don't understand but um, when i'm starting to watch their funny videos that's the time i started to um love their characters and know their stories most of their videos are so inspirational and well, they taught me to love myself Oh, that's right. Love yourself first. Now, now I know that watching videos of BTS filled up your quarantine time. So, what are your what are the qualities you like and dislike being an army? 
what I dislike about them is some of their fans are toxic. Well, I'm not against if they're de defending um, the BTS because I understand it because they love them. But, why, but what I don't like is that when they are the ones who started the fight, like fandom war, and they started to say um, negative things to other um, K-pop group or we should support each other and we should not um, say negative things on the other fandom. The things that I like about the ARMY is that they are helping each other um, when, when they need. They are always willing to help even to the other people, which is not a fan. This like, example is the um you know the about bts meal about the food panda driver yes they um when he posted a um post saying positive things the army like, helped the food panda drive driver and give give him give him a money which is a big help to him yes i agreed with that um, I know that story with that delivery boy. Yes. In a Fort Panda. They help they help them. They help him. And um I heard a lot of what fandom war. Yes. Like, yes. But I just want to add that just spread love and not hate. Because we know that some of Korean idols that they take their lives because of hate but that that can cause them a depression so yes. don't spread hate just love yes back to the topic um as a bts fan do you collect bts merch um <laughs> sadly i as of now i don't collect bts bts <laughs> bts merch because i don't have um, money to buy because you know it's so expensive <laughs> but yes. um yeah i and have you only uh, student. yeah i'm planning to buy um bt21 stuff toy that's my plan yes, i heard that you love reading reading wattpad stories yes Do you have any I love for it. wattpad readers who are just starting miss kim on any tips um just read <laughs> Because I, I believe that we have different tastes or different oh yeah tastes in or we have different tastes in genre. Just like me, I love mysteries like that to read what you love. So what tell me what is your most favorite Wattpad book and why? Um, my favorite Wattpad book is He's into her because of its storyline and the mysteries behind it. Because I love, I love the story because he didn't give the story that or the story or the event that I expect. Oh, I am familiar with his into her. Like I watch it in the television. So now that I know that you're, you love watching BTS, reading Wattpad, so let's talk about your religion. I know that you're a Christian. Do yes. you pray? If yes. yes. If so, how do you pray? Tell me. Tell oh, me. <laughs> Okay. Um, yes, I pray. And how do I pray? I always started to thank God. Next is um, apologizing to the scenes or mistakes that I did. And next is um, um, saying my um, prayers, like what I want, what I want to happen, like giving me knowledge, always um, protect my family. Yeah, that's one. And the last is... Um, um, exalt his name and lastly I, amen <laughs> now that i have some info or background about your religion tell me something what is your favorite bible verse and why 
My favorite Bible verse is Proverbs chapter 3, verse um, 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. This is my favorite verse because it always um, reminds me to trust God um, in everything, in every situation that I'm facing and even my future. Whenever I'm doubting about my future, I all, it, this verse reminds me to trust God and not on my own. Because if if I trust on my own ways, I will just fail. So I should trust God and submit to Him, to Him, everything that I am doing. The the word for today is trust God. Yes. So, next. what makes you a strong believer in your faith? Um. Um. It is um the fact that Jesus saves me. And loves me for who I am. He loves me unconditionally, this despite of my um sins or the my mistakes. For all the viewers, I just want to say that and always remember that God loves us unconditionally, like this him said. Now you're a Christian. How do you feel about other religions? To be honest, I don't have a feeling about them because it's okay we all have different religions and belief and i respect that i should not say negative things about them not because um even if we have different beliefs we should respect each other's differences and i know we have some or we have others other religion but we have only one God. So yes. we just love each other. So for the last question is Kim, are you still are you still excited? Are you excited? Are you yes. <laughs> yes. So the last question is, does your religion provide a guide for your future path? Oh, future that's path? my religion. Um I don't um I think it's no. Because it's not my religion who will guide me to my future. But it is God who will guide me on um on my future. Um and I in my opinion, religion has nothing to do with it because it is all about it's not about it, it's all about God. He is the one who has a plan for me, is the one who um who pre- pre- prepares future for me. And I, yeah, it's it's God. That's yeah, all. Yeah. You're right, Miss Kim. So that's all for today, Miss Kim. I hope you enjoy uh, my interview with you, and thank you for being with us. Thank you for our <laughs> audience. Um, that's all. Good night, Miss Kim. Good night.